hello students welcome to engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time now we are going to solve this problem which says that the disc is originally rotating at 12 radian per second it is subjected to a constant angular acceleration of 20 radian per second square determine the magnitude of the velocity and the normal and tangential components of acceleration of point a at instant when t equals to 2 seconds now in this particular problem the angular acceleration is constant so this is a special case in which the angular acceleration is constant so we we can use these equations these are those uh, same equations which we have used in the uh, linear motion and so now we will rep we will use these three equations while solving this problem so we are given um, the initial angular velocity of 12 radian per second and we are given the constant acceleration so we are given the constant acceleration of 20 radian per second square and omega naught equals to 12 radian per second now we want to find the angular velocity after t equals to 2 seconds so we can use this first equation so from first equation we can say that final angular velocity is equal to initial angular velocity plus constant alpha times t so now this is omega and omega naught is 12 the constant acceleration is 20 and we want to find it after t equals to 2 seconds so this is equal to uh, 12 plus 20 into 2 into 2 this gives me 52 so omega after t equals 2 seconds is 52 radian per second and now as we know if you want to find the linear velocity after 2 seconds of point b uh, of point a since we are required to find the velocity and uh, normal and tangential com acceleration of point a so for point a the radius is 0 0.5 meters so the linear velocity will be equal to r omega and now r is 0 0.5 for point a we can say that this is v a and 0 0.5 into omega is 52 so 0 0.5 into 52 so that is 26 so linear velocity of point a is 26 meter per second now the tangential component of the acceleration is we can say a tangential this is always equal to r times alpha so and the alpha is constant so we can say that r is 0 0.5 and that is 20 so 0 0.5 into 20 that will give us 10 so the tangential component of the acceleration is 10 meter per second square and similarly the normal component of the acceleration will be uh, va square divided by r or we can write va is r omega so this will be uh, r square omega square and one r will cancel out so we can say that a n is r omega square so a n is now r is 0 0.5 and omega is 52 after two seconds so 52 square so 0 0.5 into 52 square this gives us the normal component of the acceleration equals to 1352 meter per second square now this is the same problem in which uh, the disc is originally rotating at uh, 12 radian per second and it is said that if it is subjected to a constant angular acceleration of 20 radian per second determine the magnitude of the velocity and the normal and tangential component of acceleration of point b when the disc undergoes two revolutions so we are given um, the angular displacement that is two revolutions so now we are given the angular displacement and let's say that is just at the start of the observation we can assume that theta naught is equals to zero so we can write that the initial displacement when we have started the observation is zero uh, radians and we and we are given that we want to find 
the velocity and the normal and tangential component of acceleration after two revolutions. So then the final displacement will be two revolution. And as we know that since this displacement is in radians, so we need to convert these revolutions into radians. So now we know that one revolution is equal to two pi radians. So revolution will cancel out and this will become two into two. So that will become four pi. So theta equals to four pi radians. So now we want to find the velocity and normal and tangential component of the acceleration of point B after theta equals to four pi radians. When the disk have completed two complete revolutions, we can use this equation. This third equation will give us the angular velocity. So omega square is equal to omega naught square plus two alpha C. That is the constant acceleration. So now we can say that omega square is equal to omega naught is 12. So 12 square plus two, the constant acceleration is 20. And this is four pi minus zero. And if I take the square root on both sides of the equation, we will be able to find omega. So this is 12 square plus 2 into 20 into 4 pi. So this gives us angular, uh, angular velocity 25.43 radian per second after two complete revolutions. Now we can find the tangential acceleration. So the tangential acceleration will be equal to R alpha constant. And now we want to find this for point B. So for point B, the radius is 0.4. So this will be 0.4 times the constant acceleration that is 20. So 0.4 into 20, this gives us Eight. So the tangential acceleration is equal to 8 meter per second square. Similarly, the normal acceleration is r omega square and r is 0 0.4 per, for point B and omega is 25.43. Uh, so 25.43 square. So 0 0.4 multiplied by 25.43 square. So this is the normal component of the acceleration is 258.67 meter per second square. And we want to find the linear velocity after two complete revolutions. Then the linear velocity will be of point B will be equal to R omega. Now R is 0 0.4 and omega is 25.43. So 0 0.4 into 25.43, this is 10.172. This is 10.17 meter per second. So this is the linear velocity of point B after two complete revolutions. So this is the solution of these two problems. I hope it will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Hibbler Dynamics.